So lest you think I'm selling you short, I did want to point out one other thing. Notice that when we add things to our manifest, we need to add more than just the um, just the device path. Uh, there's quite a few things that get added when you want to build, for instance, the um, for the one plus one. Notice that. Uh, we need the kernel, we need some QCOM stuff, we need, uh, you know, for media calf and display calf, and we need audio calf and STL port and Snapdragon camera and data services and SE policies and all of these sort of things. So it's definitely something to uh, keep in mind that you can't just, can't just uh, you know, throw in the one device tree and that's going to be everything that you need. Um, typically, when you look through there, you're going to see... Um, anytime you go to the device folder, you're going to see, we'll look at the hammerhead just briefly here. Um, you'll see that it has other requirements or dependencies. Um, often you'll have a dependency file. Uh, we saw that when we were building Lineage, for instance. We go to a um, our device tree here, and we go to the Samsung that we built for, and this here. We see this... Uh, well, this one, there it is, lineage dependencies. And when we open that up, it says, hey, to build this, you need this. And when we go look at that, it says, hey, to build this, you need these. And when you go look at each one of those, it'll say, hey, I need this, this, and this. And so if you are um, going to uh, add things to your manifest by hand, make sure that you get everything that you need by going through dependencies and making sure they exist. Now in this Omni, notice that there was no dependencies in this hammerhead file. Perhaps it didn't need anything else. Um, if we look under this find 7op, we see Omni dependencies right here. We open that up and look, it needs this and 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 so on and so forth. So all of those have to get added to your uh, local manifest. Or in some cases, once you download it, uh, when it first runs, it should read this dependency file and say, oh, I need to go get that stuff. And then it adds those for you and goes to get them. So you can, sometimes you have to add them manually if there's not a proper dependency file. If the dependency file is there, it should, when you type brunch, in this case brunch find 7op, it's going to uh, read this dependencies file and it's going to go and download all of that material. So we're just letting that download. We're going to, uh, to get back to building, hopefully, uh, very soon.